Hello everybody, I'm putting this video together. This is mainly geared around the Klein electrical tools. And I'm going to use electrical tools loosely because the good majority of these are crossover tools. They can be used, they'll be used by plumbers, they'll be used by HVAC technicians, they'll be used by homeowners, just whoever decides to pick them up. Now I'm not going to go into the quality of the tools themselves because they are a, an outstanding quality. So I'm going to go through a lot of these tools and I've got a lot to go through and this is kind of for you know guys that are maybe aspiring to be electricians or just general information in a whole. And I'm going to throw in a like a how to here on the way to properly wire nut two wires together and uh, wire up a recept. Now, if you use anything of the information on the wiring themselves, you're on your own. I'll make that disclaimer right now. But moving in, uh, what I have laid out in front of me are nut drivers. Uh, I can't give prices on any of these tools because I bought them here and there over years. Uh, this is a seven piece nut driver set. It goes from 3 16 up to a half inch. Now, if anybody's using these for plumbing, the two common sizes that you're going to use is the red and the yellow, quarter inch and five sixteenths. Those are the ones that you're going to be going to. The rest of them get used occasionally, but not much. Half inch for a nut driver, that's a lot of torque right there. I mean, to try to get something off, you know, you might be better off with a wrench, but they have their uses. So, wouldn't hesitate to get these in one bit. screwdrivers can't go wrong I just put up a clip on the four I just purchased so here's a whole host of them now I'm gonna pull out the oddball and save it for later and that's the one with the pin I mentioned in the last video I'm gonna get to this and show you that function and why I like it now this one here is a spinner this is a looks like a maybe a quarter inch blade these are good for like putting on wall plates stuff like that just get in there and spin them I used to use this quite a bit then I finally quit and I just stick with the old tried and true straight and just turn it with two hands but they have a they have a good purpose you know it's a speed driver I mean you can really crank them in real quick but you have to be careful with them because if you're putting on a white wall plate or whatnot uh, you can actually come off and put a gouge so maybe a little bit slower is better pick these up lineman's pliers a couple pair of dykes or diagonals however you want to call them I call them dykes a couple pair of needle nose all Klein, all great. No complaints at all. Couple of strippers here. I have two different sets of strippers. This is your standard one that has all the gauges uh, 10 to 18 on it. And you pick your hole and you can strip your wire. Most of the time now these days anyway I'm just working with 12-2 Romex some of this language may be foreign to a lot of people watching this but some may not this is a 12-2 Romex wire here I really got turned on to these and I love them uh, they have a Romex stripper built into them there's a little plier at the end a 12 gauge stripper and that's it that's the tool I love these things and I actually need to get a new pair. I I'd wired my re, I've been rewiring my whole house room by room and labeling my breakers and whatnot. And I got to a circuit that I needed to work on, and I flipped the breaker as I labeled it, and I didn't check it. So I bit into it and had a blowout on this one. It still works, but it's kind of gre greasy when you go to cut it. Great. Doesn't, doesn't work that great anymore, but I'll replace those at some point. I'm going to use these here in a minute, actually. A 
this thing's a wire nut spinner a lot of people may laugh electricians about this tool but it's made for a reason what I used to do when I put a wire nut on my wires I'd grab them with my channel locks if there's any electricians watching this, this is probably what you do and you'd spin them on but after doing a couple hundred joints and my wrist being you know hurting throughout the years of abusing them this is my favorite tool for putting on wire nuts you just simply stick it right in there and stick your wires in and just turn away until you get it tight kinda hard to use if you're working tight into a box if somebody didn't leave you enough lead but you can still do it the old-fashioned way if you need to but I love this thing this little guy right here this uh, voltage tester I didn't bother taking it in with me to make sure my circuit was dead so I blew my pliers out and on these you know you can stick them in the positive and neutral hole the hot and negative and get your light but you don't have to if you stick one lead in the hot side and just hold the other one the lights not as bright but you can still see it and it'll still illuminate the light so you can test your circuit to make sure it's dead some people including myself will work live circuits I still do it and I wouldn't have had a problem on that one if I knew <laughs> it was live so that's a that's a pretty quick rundown on a handful of tools there uh, I'm gonna bring in this wire stripper right here and show you how well it works I have another tool here which is a Klein knife so if you're if you've got a rough in and you've got your leads coming out of your box in the wall uh, you can use this knife to get in there and go through the insulation and turn it just a little bit and as you're splitting the sheathing you're hugging the the ground wire in there so you have to get on the right side of the ground wire turn it just a little bit and then run down there and you can peel that sheathing up then pull it back and then get in there and whack it off I used to do it that way but I really like these now this 12 too a little bit difficult sometimes if it's coming out of a box you have to get down in there kind of sideways and if you're going straight on it you just bear down but if you have to come in at a little bit of an angle just lightly go in and give it a little bit of a rock and then you can pull that sheathing off and get rid of your waste so I'm just going to show you how this thing works and there you go come in and get rid of your paper and now you've got your legs or you can make up your recept another reason I like this one over the one with the multiple gauges there's only one hole in it to strip wires and if you're working with 12 2 you don't have to look and see which spot you need to put your wire in to strip it so I'll just strip my leads back and there you go it'd be coming out of the wall towards you like this now I'm going to bring in a receptacle here just standard plain Jane first thing I'm going to say about it there's holes in the back where you can strip your wires off and then stick them in from the back and they'll they'll be held in there by themselves spring loaded bad news don't ever use those things over time these things you know they'll they'll heat up they'll contract that will become loose it'll start arcing and then before you know it you know something's going wrong so the proper way to do it is actually roll around your 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 screws here and if you are going to put them in the back which I would say a big no-no always run your screws in if you're doing it that way just run them in you still have to wrap the ground anyway but there's there's a couple of different ways to do this and one what a lot of electricians will do is they'll just use their needle nose and they'll come in and they'll make they'll turn their their horseshoe on this and then put it on that's where this screwdriver comes in that I love that little pin you pick this up 
put your lead in there, turn it, makes a perfect loop that you need to put that on. And on the ground wire I always grab a little bit more like that and then you start wiring up your receptacle. So first things first you've got your your brass get your black lead or your line in always make sure you put it on the right way don't put it on this way with it going that way and then tighten this up because it'll actually want to loosen it up always put it on the right way so you can hook down in here this is easier to do if that wire was in the wall but hook that on just like so grab the same stripper reach right down in here tighten that up around that screw now it can't come off you don't bother tighten it up yet you do everything this way go around the other side if you need to turn your cable just get a hold of it and move it around get that out of the way hook this side up same deal come in here and pinch this around same deal with the ground same deal here and then go back to your screwdriver and tighten them up like I said this screwdriver is getting worn out so let me grab the new one. <laughs> oh yeah nothing like a brand new screwdriver alright so now you can see a proper properly wired receptacle now if you had another lead that was going to go to another receptacle through the wall or something it doesn't matter which one you put it on but let's say it was the top one you'd attach it here but on the ground you'd pigtail this now I use the green wire nuts that have a hole in the end so the second cable that came in I would twist it to this one and cut that off right here put on the wire nut and then bring one pigtail up to this so there you go this one's ready to be put back in the wall in the hole in your box and lock it down okay that's how you do a receptacle so all in all those are really the main electricians tools but like I said a lot of them are crossover but anything you buy Klein you can expect quality you know they're they're more expensive than some but a heck of a lot less than others in terms of just general tools like snap-on or something like that but they're actually really great tools uh, one thing I want to throw in here as well I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this sheathing off I'm gonna throw in here how to properly do a wire splice with a wire nut terminating two leads together. I'll just say for example these are both black. I'm going to come in here with my stripper make a pretty decent little long tail there. The no-no. need to find my wire nut. The no-no. Don't just stick two wires together and tighten them up with a nut. These things are going to come loose in time. The nut will loosen up, can potentially get off, and then this is going to come apart inside your junction box or wherever it wherever it's put together. Uh, if you if you are an electrician or have been an electrician like I have been in one of my past many lives, uh, you'll know if you're working something hot, like I said, you know, a lot of people work hot you open something like this up and, and it flies apart on you and it starts arcing everywhere and snapping breakers or whatnot you'll hunt down the guy who did that you will proper way 
simple pair of line ones. Bring your wires up here. I hold them just a tiny bit apart like this in my fingers, barely crossing them. Grab it at the end. Twist it together like that. Now I'm going to take them and nip the ends about a half inch away from the end at an angle not straight across. Put your wire nut on. If you want to use a spinner like I do that's a proper termination just like that. And always leave a lot hanging out of your box. From the front of the box at least six seven inches hanging out there. And then roll them back in get them out of the way like that so if anybody needs to service it later it might be you don't leave somebody with two inches of wire to deal with leave some meat out there for people to work with those are just pet peeves throughout my life of what I've seen people do that just weren't taught any better I guess anyway a little bit of information on Klein tools uh, like I said they're great tools in every aspect there's other brands Greenlee, Ideal, whatever but I like Klein. Thanks for watching and good luck.